Hi, in this video, we are going to understand the third part of the seventh chapter, that is control and coordination. In this video, we are going to study about control and coordination in plants in detail. We will cover the following topics in this video. First, we will familiar with a short introduction. After that, we will learn about the types of movements in detail. The different plant hormones secreted by the plants in details. Lastly, we will learn about important terms. So let's start with our first topic. Introduction All living things respond to environmental stimuli. Plants also respond to stimuli with the help of chemical compounds secreted by the cells. In living organism exhibit some movement. The plant also use electric chemical means to convey this information from cell to cell. Now we are going to learn about the types of movements. Plants show two different types of movement. First one is dependent on growth and second one is independent of growth. Let's understand these type of movement with the help of an example. Dependent on growth or directional movement that is trophic movement and tropism. Plants movement guided by direction of external stimulus. It means plant shows tropism in response to other stimuli that is directional movement in response to stimulus or Roots always grow downwards while the shoot would usually grow upward and away from the earth. Trophic movement can be of many types. These are The very first one is Phototropism Phototropism is the movement towards light. It is of two types. They are Positive Phototropism It is seen in shoots which respond by bending toward light. Negative geotropism. It is seen in shoots by growing away from the ground. For example, oxen spread equally down both side of plant and collect on shady side of plant. Second, geotropism. Plant growth in response to gravity movement toward or away from gravity it is also divided into two types, namely positively, positively geotropic. Plant grow toward direction of gravity to get water and nutrients. Negatively geotropic. Plant growth against direction of gravity. For example, roots bend away from light exhibiting negative phototropism. They grow toward the ground Exhibiting positive geotropism. Third, chemotropism. It is a growth movement of a plant part in response to chemical stimulus. For example, growth of a pollen tube toward ovule. Fourth, hydrotropism. It is the movement toward water. It means hydrotropism is a growth response in which the direction is determined by the stimuli of water. Now the second one is independent of growth, stick movement. Plant movement independent of stimuli. Independent growth has immediate response to the stimulus. Plant use electrical chemical means to convey information from cell to cell. Example Drooping of leaves of touch me not plant on touching it. Now, we are going to study about plant hormones in detail. Hormones are chemical compound released by stimulated cells. They are synthesized at the places away from where they act and simply diffuse to the area of action. The main hormones secreted by the plants are auxins gibberellins, cytokinins, and abscessic acid. Let us study about them in detail. 
auxin. This hormone synthesized at shoot tip. It helps the cell to grow longer and involved in phototropism. Gibberellin. It helps in the growth of the stem. Seed germination, bolting and flowering. Cytokinins. Cytokinins are hormones present in the area of rapid cell division such as fruit and seeds. They promote cell division and opening of the stomata. Abscisic acid. Abscisic acid is a hormone test inhibits the growth in various parts. It is also responsible for the closure of stomata. Lastly, we are going to understand the difference between the control and coordination take place in animals and plants are following. The control and coordination in animals is complicated, while in plant it is simple. Animals have nervous system and endocrine system, but plants have different hormones responsible for control and coordination. Animals have a specific gland to secrete hormones, but on the other hand, plants do not have specific glands to secrete hormones. That's it in this chapter. Thanks for watching.